Welcome to this video of Cognos Analytics version 11 launched by IBM recently. This is presented by RTW Consultancy. In this video, I'm going to take you to your first introduction on Cognos Analytics version 11 and I'm going to walk through the navigations and give you get started feeling for for Cognos Analytics. In the next series of the videos, we are going to do reports, dashboarding, data modules, and we are going to talk more about Cognos Analytics. Let's get started. So go to Google and go to search for IBM Cognos Analytics. Most likely, you would be taken down to this link. Click on Get Started Now. And you will be landing on this page. It says Analytics Zone, IBM Cognos Analytics. This is all web based and free trial version of IBM Cognos Analytics. Click on Access Trial link here, and you'll be presented a license agreement. Click on Accept. And once it opens up, it will be uh, this link. Once you are on this page, you would see a few links on the left. To start with, on the top left, you have about and how. We we'll talk about this. Search. You can click on search and search your content. You have my content, which is very analogous to the my folders which you had in Cognos 10 BI series or even earlier. This my content means that this is your this is your content and it cannot be shared. With anybody else other than you, it's it's your. It's like my folders. Team content, as you would have now realized, that it's a public folder kind of concept in which you can create your reports, dashboards, models, framework manager models. In Cognos 11, it's not called as framework manager models, but similar to framework manager models, what we call as data module. You can share with the team members, and that's when you would put it in team content. You can give security, like whatever you could do in Cognos 10. And then recents, whatever you have worked on recents. On the left hand side, at the at the very end, you would see the new. This new gives you an ability to create a report. A dashboard or a data module. A report is very similar to what you would do in Report Studio. Of course, the layout, the GUI, everything is changed, but in principle, that's what you do in report. Dashboard, you would create dashboards like you would do in Cognos 10.2 workspace. Workspace in Cognos 10.1 was called as BI uh, Business Insights Insight, and uh, then you have Data Mario. This is very much analogous to Framework Manager packages. So this is this may be a surprise to a lot of Cognos people who had previously worked or are working in Cognos 10 or 8. Cognos 8 is that. The framework manager, which used to be a standalone client tool, it's no longer a client tool. It, you can you can build a, a framework manager kind of model directly from the web piece, and that the term is now known as the model in framework manager. The package, everything is now known as data model. We are, we are going to talk about this 
in the videos to come. Then you have upload files to bring in your files for data analysis. You're going to work on that. We're going to talk about it. Notifications is like watch list, you know, in Cognos 10 for a particular user. You have your notifications. If a report is developed or ran, it, it'll come to you as a notification and, you know, all those kinds of things which, which you would see in Cognos 10 too. And a lot more. We're going to discuss that too. And then you have a manage link in which you can see the data servers. This is basically the data source connections which you had earlier. If you want to create one, we are going to talk about this also in the next video. If you want to create one, click on add and you would see so many things which are now supported in, in Cognos uh, version 11. Next is the administration console, which is very much similar to what we had in Cognos 10. If I click on this, it launches a new screen. And you could see all the data source connections which are already existing. Now coming back to the welcome page, which was the Cognos Analytics page, you would see the, the links here. On the, on the middle section, you have welcome, and as in when you develop reports, you can switch the views. We're going to talk about it too. On the far right, you're able to see hey, home. Remember in Cognos 10 or the versions before, you add any view, you can set it as home. The same functionality exists. Let's create a report or let's create a data module to start with and see how it goes. Click on new and click on data module. It's going to give you the screen and you can see that as and when you click, the, the icons on the left changed. So let's see the data servers. I can use any of these data servers provided I have the access. I have uploaded a file, sales file channel. So I clicked on uploaded files. It gives me the list. And I click on this checkbox. On the left side, selected sources, I see this PSV and I click on start. You can see that sales by channel on the left hand side is appearing, and these are the columns which are available. I can create a new data module and I can rename this by this bubble. I can say sales by channel. And I can save this. Save button from top. I'm keeping in my content and I'm going to say the channel. And then I'm going to drag and drop here and I'm going to, you can see the Sales by channel. You can use the sales by channel in to build reports, which I'm going to show you in the next video. I hope you you like this video. Thank you for watching.